All right, I have a commercial toilet that's leaking at the floor, so we need to change the wax ring. And we should be able to do this with three tools. We've got a pipe wrench, a screwdriver, and an adjustable wrench. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is turn off the valve. And sometimes you're going to have a decorative cover over this that you just unscrew. And you turn it clockwise. And it's going to shut off the water. We'll give it a flush. You can see no water. So the next step, now that the water is off to the toilet, we're going to loosen this big nut with the pipe wrench. All right, I loosened this nut with a pipe wrench, and I'm just going to unscrew it. And this is going to disconnect the toilet from the valve. And I'm just going to pull that away. And then the next step is going to be loosening up the screws. There's going to be a nut and a bolt on each side of the toilet that I'm going to loosen with the adjustable wrench and we're going to take the toilet off the floor. Okay, so on the bottom of the toilet I just removed the nut and the washer and I'm going to do that on both sides. Then we're going to loosen the nut here and this is going to pull away. Now you're going to get a little bit of water come out of here so you may want to have a bucket below that. All right, I found that the bolt had rusted through, and that was the problem. The toilet had a little bit of a wobble to it, and that broke the seal for the wax. I'm just going to remove the old wax ring and clean this up a little bit. We'll put the new wax ring down, and then I'm going to put two new bolts on either side of the flange. Okay, I've got the new wax ring down, and I've got two bolts uh, sitting up in the flange. I actually tore a little bit of the old wax off and shoved it into the little opening around the flange to keep my bolts sticking straight up so it's easier when I set the toilet over the top of this, they're not wobbling back and forth. Okay, I set the toilet down on top of the wax ring and I guided it into the two bolts. I'm going to put washers on and then snug it down. I also lined up the valve and the tube going down to the toilet. Now I'm going to sit on it, compress it, and then we're going to tighten down the nuts, uh, being real careful not to over tighten because you can crack that porcelain. It's better to under tighten it and then come back in 24 hours and snug it up a little more rather than being too aggressive. All right, I connected the two bolts on the bottom. I used the pipe wrench and I tight tightened the coupling here. And what I'm going to do is open up the valve and we'll give it a test. All right, I flushed it a couple times and it looks in good shape. It's not leaking on the ground. So there you go. Those are the steps to change a wax seal on a commercial toilet.